Welcome, Welcome to, to Your Anime, Anime Senpais. Senpais. I'm Richard. And I'm John. And John, today we're going to be watching and reacting to Kaguya Love is War, Season 2, Episode 11. Hmm. So, last episode we had, of course, a bunch of different things happening. We had, um, we had Shodogane, the, the Shodogane house, or apartment, I guess. Yeah. Um, uh, president, uh, he was, uh, he's kind of on a, you know, kind of down, because, you know, he, he, yeah. he had seen Kaguya and Ishigami potentially getting close. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, but uh, with the help of his uh, Sundere sister and his <laughs> really weird dad, uh, I guess yeah. he just kind of got over it for the time being. But even if he didn't, he didn't have really much time to, to worry about it because we found out that um, Shirogane... He just doesn't know how to dance. He doesn't do it, know how to do a bunch of different things. That, that is true. He he's very smart, but doesn't know a lot of different things. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know what though? Um, he always has Mama Fujiwara. That's true. Fujiwara doesn't know many things, but she knows many things. She she she's she's a master mm. of the arts. Let's just say that. So, yes. regardless, of course, <laughs> uh, through harsh discipline, Mama Fujiwara, she she got in there and she showed showed Gani how to dance. Just in time for the sports festival. That's right. Yeah. So, um, speaking of which, uh, for the sports festival, we had uh, all the main characters, or all, all the main characters, I guess, uh, whichever you want to say it, but uh, they were all on the same team. How convenient. Except for Kagua. <laughs> oh, how convenient. Yes, how convenient. Yes, hmm. exactly. So, uh, but you know what? Despite that, it worked in her favor because yeah. she got to meet her future father-in-law, potentially. Oh, yeah, even though she didn't know who he was at the time, but uh, it was a very interesting scenario, and uh, yeah, and uh, Daddy Shodogane kind of got a little bit of an insight on on Kaguya. So I don't yeah. know. We'll see what, what comes out of that. But uh, one last thing to note is that at the very end of the episode, oh, we had nice. a very uh, mysterious girl show up at the at the festival. So will hmm. she be a good person or a bad person? Who knows? But I am looking forward to seeing what kind of uh, what kind of things she brings to the table. So, hmm. shall we get started? Yeah. All right. Well, this is different. Oh no, that's because he's yeah he's dressed up in. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Instagrammable. <laughs> I think he was worried over nothing, though, because everybody's looking at <laughs> everyone else. Yeah. <sighs> Go, Team Red! Hmm. Oh, no opening? Yeah, so I'm kind of wondering. I was waiting for that. We, we've got too much stuff to cover. This, the series is winding down, so. Mm, it's true. They ain't got no time for openings and closings. Hopefully that onlooking girl. Oh, no. Is this her? Is she going to ruin your day? She's going to ruin everything. <laughs> Looks like you were having a good time. Glad I was here to stop that. <laughs> right. <laughs> did did That's she, all she really gonna... just said that and walked off? Yeah, pretty much. Why is she even there? Specifically just for him? I mean, come on. Uh-oh. What's there? What? Yeah, she... 
She really just, just ruined his day. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, the okay. Fastest kid. <sighs> Is he still gonna race in the skirt though? I I guess. That sounded really weird, actually. That represents their club. Hmm. Okay, yeah, he did change. <laughs> you would know, <laughs> wouldn't you? Oh, wait, what? What? Why is this distorting? Because he's... Oh, no, he's about to pass out. What? Oh. Is he just... He's... Yeah, because of her. Wow. Well, if you remember, uh, I think it was last episode or the episode before... Yeah, the flashback they were talking yeah. about. Hmm. Oh, she's so nice. Hmm. So nice. Yeah, hmm. so nice. He actually looks really good with the shorter hmm. hair, honestly. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Like a certain somebody. Is really just like a different person. Hmm. <sighs> it's 
It's going to hit him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Which honestly is probably what. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. So she's gonna see this kind of out of context. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. And yet nobody can hear this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> now he's turning it all against him. Mm -hmm. And he's using it to, to boost himself up even more. Uh I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't I mean, know what else is going on. Tell her why. Yeah, right. Yeah, no one knows why he just did that. Right. But even though, honestly, though, even if he did tell them why, they probably wouldn't believe him anyways, mm -hmm. just because he was the loner. Yeah. And the other guy is the um, more yep. popular one. So. Hmm. Uh. Well, tell her why it's crazy. Really? Hmm. It's true, but or regardless, maybe the same things probably already happened. So yeah. Wow. Really? Hmm. 
<laughs> wow. Well, isn't that nice? I figured he'd write the apology in a way that, yeah, told everything. What? How does that work? Did they lock him in his room from the outside? No, he locked himself in, I think. Oh. Well, the chain wasn't... Oh. Hmm. Does it open... Yeah, see, that's what I was curious. Outward? Like, how, did, how, did, how does the chain and the lock work there? Well, I mean, I guess it opened outward and... People were trying to get into him, maybe? Yeah. But it's like, how, what was he... Huh. We'll have to look at that later. No. What? Wow, he is really out of it. Mm hmm You have friends, go. <laughs> hmm. Really? Really? Hmm. So did maybe he know what was going on? I wonder. Uh, I don't know, but I, th I think he... Huh. Oh, I guess so. Oh. The Student Council secret report. Hmm. I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, it is good that she did get out of that, though. Right. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. I was going to say that. But I was like, no, maybe he's not going to say <laughs> Good guy Ishigami. And good guy Shodogane, for that matter. Hmm. <sighs> 
That's really good that he figured it out, though. Yeah. I like that. Actually, somebody should just walk over and, like, maybe punch her just once real quick. Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, prove it by winning. Really, actually, prove it by just enjoying. Well, yeah, and, and having a good time. And... Yeah. Oh. Hayasaka was on white team too. I didn't realize that. But I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Go! Ah, uh, well. Uh, e even though. Yeah. It was still close. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, come on. Nah, it's fine, bro. It's fine. You did change stuff, though. Come on. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Are they ever going to show her eyes? Seriously. She don't actually have eyes. What are you talking about? <laughs> Obviously, he don't have eyes either. <laughs> no, but she's got eyes. That's his classmate. <laughs> I told hey, you. They all have eyes again. I told you. Nice. Is your is your ankle fine now? Uh, evidently. Seriously. <laughs> How does that? I know, right? How? I keep looking at it going. Uh, I don't. No, I don't want to look. What? So her friends went to this school. Oh, huh. <laughs> hmm. What? What, so why is she here then? Just because her friend, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Wow. No one gonna let her know. Hmm. Wow. Hey, good job, Red Team. Oh, wait, no, we're still going. Well, they gotta win now. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> What's up with those balloons? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Some weird balloons. Oh, okay. That's when they were getting the information on Ishikami. Mm -hmm. All right, John. So, uh, uh, 
I believe I mentioned a couple episodes ago that uh, some feels were going to start happening. There's going to be a, some some change in tone just a little bit there. So uh, how, how did you feel about that? I mean, well, you, you definitely weren't joking. I'll tell you that much because, uh, well, yeah, the, the feels, man, they, they were definitely there. Uh, the, the change in tone was definitely there. Like, it, uh, man, I, I'm used to coming to Kaguya for a good laugh right, every yeah. week. And, right. Uh, I mean, there were there were points where I had a good laugh, but it was definitely not without some heartache and, you know, some some just, I guess, hatred towards some people and, you know, all these right. other different emotions that came along with it. So yeah. it, was, uh, it was definitely a, a, a major... It was to me. It was a major tone uh, change in tone, mm-hmm. and I, I I like it for that reason. Right. I mean, it was really good. I liked the character development they kind of had going on for mm-hmm. him, uh, the background, kind of how he got back into school and how the president kind of lifted his spirits because that was something I I wouldn't have seen coming. I, I really wouldn't have just because I didn't know they had that kind of background together. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that cause, was great. Because when we were introduced to Ishigami, he just kind of just shows up in the student council room just as a... Yeah, like I didn't a, even know he was part of the show. And you were like, oh yeah, there's still another student council member that right. got introduced. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> yeah. what? Yeah, and we kind of, we saw like little hints of him, but he just sh- kind of shows up like halfway through the season. And it's like, oh, there's, a, there's another guy. And just, by, by the way, there's right. this, you know, slacker. <laughs> right, exactly. Kinda... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, who's, who just so happens to be good with money. But um, yeah. but yeah, it is good that he... Finally, uh, kind of got some background to him now, and, and we kind of see where we kind of see why he has had or has this attitude. But mm-hmm. we also see that he's trying to overcome this 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 um, yeah. part of his life. So and it's slowly but surely, but uh, mm-hmm. definitely some major steps were, were taken this day. So, oh yeah, this episode, yeah. I guess. So, but uh, but your thoughts on the episode? I mean, oh, I mean, I I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I remember reading this part in the manga, and uh, really, you know, see, that's the one thing about uh, Kaguya is that um, a lot of it is comedy. A lot mm-hmm. of it, I would say, maybe I don't know, seventy percent of it is comedy, and maybe twenty percent of it is is romance, and then the other part of it is kind of like uh, serious stuff too. Which, yeah, for me, that's a good blend. That's kind of how I like my, I guess, rom coms, <laughs> but. Um, but yeah, this one, is, this was a good moment. Uh, Ishigami is like one of my favorite characters. I mean, sorry, Hayasaka's up there, is, is you know, at the top. But uh, Ishigami is yeah. pretty pretty high up there as well. So, and he just, he, he's a good guy. And, you know, we could see parallels between him and Miko. Because, mm-hmm. you know, they, well, at least his past self anyways. Because, you know, his past self believed in, in justice kind of like what she did. Yeah. And we kind of yeah. see why, the reason why he, he helped her out a lot too. You know, ripping, the, ripping off the... Uh, things on her back to yeah yeah, yeah. so uh because i'm sure that happened after his well no i guess that would happen no, no, that would happen before. before that's right so yeah because i mean with that uh wow with that i guess suspension and all the stuff that led up to it 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 looked like it really just shook him to the core that he right he couldn't have that sense of uh uh, you know, justice, just justice yeah. as much as he did before, because mm-hmm. uh, it kind well, of to kind him, of the the, yeah, the, to him the system failed him. But uh, to another degree, he never. It was really sad. He just never explained why he right. did it. Right. And I mean, in, I know he was typical. kind of manipulated because you know, well, you know, he didn't want uh, the one girl to uh, you know be looked down on or whatever. Right, if, yeah, you know, yeah. if somebody else or if the whole school found out that. Uh, I guess that she was being cheated on or something. I don't know. I don't know really what the whole thing was that he was probably that was yeah. being used against him. But that yeah, was, there was, was something it, yeah. to where he wanted to protect her honor, but also he couldn't for whatever reason he he just couldn't, or maybe he had thought about it so much that he just couldn't vocalize it. Right. Or he could have uh, just froze too. He yeah. Just, although he was, well, he he wanted everyone to you know to say hey he's he's the one that's wrong, but he never would tell why. Right. Yeah. And it was. I don't know. I, I wish it would have worked out differently, but I mean, you know, that's just kind of how life is. Sometimes you you get caught up in the moment, you make those mistakes, and you just got got to live with them. Right. And, I mean, it would be nice if you know maybe he could have went back and changed that, or you know, 
things like that or you know but the future you never know could have been the truth is revealed and she finally you know 20 years down the road right hell why i think he should have told her at the at the sports festival just i mean yeah no well, no no not necessarily why he was doing the race but like afterwards you know after he finishes the race he could have walked over to her and be like look you know i know what i did was wrong back in the day like well, i guess yeah. two or three years ago but this is the reason why i did it and would she have believed him i don't know but at the very least yeah he could have, he could have communicated communicated that to her and she could have made that decision or made that um yeah her i guess her judgment at, at that point so and i mean honestly it might even play out uh differently in this way uh with the way that it is now uh maybe for the best that it kind of just goes that maybe she runs back into that jerk and gets back with them and you know has a bad experience where he ends up cheating on her over and over or or somebody through secondhand you know knowledge passes along the information as to why ishigami did that and she's like wait what <laughs> or this whole time he's been trying to protect me right that's true which is funny you mentioned so, that because the first thing i thought of was like a person with secondhand knowledge so maybe someone in the student council maybe mm, someone that has mm, certain resources yes. to be able to plant said information mm. I'm not gonna name any uh, names, of course, I don't but know who you that know, would be. it would definitely have to be somebody that has like uh, someone on on their staff that could be like I don't know a ninja of some kind mm. that oh so that could just kind of jump in there and you know <laughs> plant said information information in there. Well, I don't know, or even be the one to uh, you know divulge it. You know, oh, that's true, camouflage yeah. themselves as somebody. And... Right? Yeah, <laughs> that's true too. Yeah, I didn't think about that actually. Yeah. But there's a multitude of different things that yeah. this said person could do to 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 do uh, to do what you were talking about. But um, I don't know. I mean, will yeah. that happen? Who knows? <laughs> but, It'd be nice. It was just a hypothetical right. thought. I don't know right. if it if it does or if it's going to or if it even is a a plot point later on in the story. Who knows? I, well, I don't know. I mean, and I I guess I don't really want to know honestly. So nah, yeah, just, but, just uh, be surprised. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I enjoy the surprises. I, right. You know, I've not read any of the manga, so... I mean, I probably need to read up to this point just to kind of see maybe what I'm missing, what the differences are, if there are any subtle right. ones. But, yeah, I mean, I re really enjoyed it so far, and it's been great. Uh, man, th this episode has been something else. So, yep. really uh, it kind re of, really going out strong this season. It kind of reminds me... It kind of has the same kind of tone as, uh, if you remember, at the end of last season where Kaguya couldn't get to the fireworks, fireworks. Oh, and she was having yeah, that miserable right. time so kind of along the same and we had lines. that like dark backstory with her where she was you know we got to learn about her and her struggles with her family wow yeah, yeah. i didn't even make that kind of parallel yeah. but yeah that's that's true so hmm. but uh yeah I, I didn't want to say anything about that though just because of the fact that like i was just like i just want to let you know that there was just a tonal change but i couldn't get into yeah. too much detail yeah, because yeah, yeah. i also wanted you to be surprised so hmm. But here we are, so yeah. yeah. Uh, any other final thoughts? No. no All right. Great episode. Guys, uh, what did you think of this episode? And is Ishigami still best boy or best girl? Let us know down in the comments <laughs> below. And if you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that subscribe button to our channel. Hit the notification bell. Keep up with all the content we do put out. Check out our Patreon. We would really appreciate the support. And we'll see you in the next episode.